December's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Work schedule's weird, so we can't go anywhere. But, hey, this isn't a bad place to end the year. And speaking of ending the year, I think we might do a little something somewhat new with the existing format. For next year, we'll tell you more about that when it comes. But right now, it's time for the highs and lows as of now. And land of the candle pins right here, 148. When Masons used to be a thing, 44 was my low. And the land of the ducks, 147. At Collins Bulladrome, Bill, R Bill Ricca. Yep, yeah, I'm thinking of two different places and getting their locations mixed up. North Chelmsford Lane is where the 58 happened, but that's because the pin cam was in the approach. The approaches were tiny. Move the camera out of the way, and everything was fine right after that. And then the land of the 10 pins. Gartner 10 pin owns the 169. And the 26, that is a real number. And that comes from Weymouth Lanes trying to do it to Jason Belmonte. Needless to say, I did not get the results Jason Belmonte normally gets. And those are the highs and lows as of now. We are bowling on lane number 10 whenever they turn on the lights. So that's what it looks like when it's really dark in there. I mean, I've seen it, but not that close. Anyway, these are the bowling balls we're using. Epco, Marathane, Proline, the only thing professional you're about to see in this video. And now, it's time for those famous words you've been waiting for. It's now time to watch me suck at bowling. Game one, frame one, ball one. And because Putnam Street's on a second level, primarily wood frame structure, pin cam is going to jiggle a little bit. Nothing can do. But first, let's test the slide. Freshly done, so I mean the uh, so the uh, glide's a little rough, but it's there. Ball two, a little off, but it wasn't too bad. Also, because there's not a lot of room, everything's kind of crammed on side. the Niner. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore in action. And there you go. Free two ball one. I think that ball was okay, but the aim wasn't. Okay, only that one, another eight. Yeah, typical rough start, although not too bad, but also Putnam Street. Got nine and one, eight and two. So far, halfway decent 17. Frame three, bubble.
Call two. Best we can do is them a little. That's nothing in one, everything in two. Call three. Street starts to do Putnam Street things. We got an 8 and 3, and then the 4 that kind of killed everything. We're only at 29. My low score here is a 54. Frame 5 by 1, come on Putnam Street action. Two. I got Putnam Street action. Ball three. And screwed. Nine ten. Frame six ball one. Ball two, yay, the four horsemen. Ball three. Got rid of him with a 10, that does help. Those two frames are okay, in spite of how they kind of started. Got a 9 and 5, 10 and 6, we're at 48, staying alive. Frame 7 by 1. to minimum standard, which is 80. According to ICBA standards of casual league bowlers, 80 to 100 is average skill. Barely hanging on. One insurance point to make that happen. Anyway, eight and seven, nine and eight. 65. Frame nine ball one. Ball three. Barely 
staying alive with an eight. Last frame, ball one. Just needs seven, so it will be six, five, four. Or a Putnam Street strike. Two all stink of the bonus balls. Putnam Street strike. Can we get doubles here? It happens a bit. Not like it's common, but it happens a bit. I'll stinko two. Nine fill. It took one mark to make mediocre, or well, I should say, borderline decent, to just a hair above average skill. And I mean just barely a hair. The four and four definitely didn't help things. But the strike at the end sure did, and a nine fill, which definitely helped. We end this one relatively strong, so to speak, with a 92. And that's week one of four for the month of December 20, 22nd edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.